TBM 900 Inertial Separator Utilization The TBM is exposed to a variety of environmental conditions which can range from unsealed airstrips to climbs through heavy rain and cruise flight through ice crystals well above the freezing level. The engine is designed and tuned to deliver maximum performance, especially at higher altitudes. The induction and exhaust systems contribute to this performance. The induction system is also designed to protect the engine from foreign object damage, FOD, when exposed to certain conditions. In order to preserve the maximum performance, the time for deploying the inertial particle separator, the IPS, rests with the pilot in command. This video focuses on the IPS, which is fitted under the engine and located immediately behind the air intake on the lower cowling. Take a closer look at the key components. Airflow entering the air intake is directed aft towards the rear of the engine, into the annular plenum chamber and compressor air inlet. One of the most difficult notifications from a director of maintenance is one that reveals any findings associated with foreign object damage to the engine. Repairs can be costly, furthermore, they can be time consuming. Fortunately, situations like this can be avoided through the proper adherence to the operational procedures outlined within the airplane's pilot operating handbook. Pilots should be aware that even benign icing conditions, merely leaving a trace of ice on the horizontal stabilizer and wing, may produce significant ice accumulations that are out of view, and in particular, within proximity to the engine, after the IPS and protective air inlet screen. While the hazard may be less obvious, ice can accumulate on the engine air inlet posts within a short period of time, increase in size, then pose a significant risk to the first stage compressor rotor. The inertial particle separator system is composed of a flap and door which are linked together and driven by an electric actuator. When the engine is operating at idle speeds and above, the components of the IPS allow particles to travel without resistance toward the injection ducts. When it comes to surface and airborne debris, the threats to the engine are obvious. Water, however, requires more awareness. Unless splashed into the operating engine and disrupting airflow, water by itself is generally harmless. But when combined with freezing temperature, water becomes harmful when it changes from a liquid to a solid. Ice. As a precaution, POH limitations and procedures will direct the pilot to turn anti-ice and de-ice protection systems on at 5 degrees Celsius or colder in precipitation of any form and or visibility less than one mile due moisture. These actions include the inertial separator. When following normal procedures, the pilot is directed to turn the IPS system on after engine start. The IPS is controlled by a single toggle switch in the TBM cockpit. IPS transition time. This is important. In order to prevent disruption of the airflow entering the engine, the IPS takes about 40 seconds to change configurations. Listen closely. Since the amount of air entering the engine is directly affected by the IPS, one must closely monitor torque and ITT during the transition period. More specifically, ITT when turning the IPS on and torque when turning the IPS off. During this voice clip, the IPS has been transitioning to the ON position at normal speed. Foreign object damage to the engine can result from any loose debris on an airport surface and includes, but is not limited to, other hazards such as bird strikes during takeoff and landing. With a fixed throttle position, and when operating the TBM in either the teens or higher flight levels, 
be conscious that deployment of the inertial separator can shift engine monitoring from torque limited in management to ITT limited in management. Furthermore, with the inertial separator on, be conscious of engine margin when increasing power. When the criteria for icing conditions are met, the procedure is clear and simple. Turn any ice and ice protection systems on. If the airplane exits icing conditions, keep the IPS on as long as the ice thickness on non-de-iced parts of the airframe exceeds half an inch. This will prevent the ingestion of ice fragments that remain on the propeller spinner. Visible moisture includes many forms of water such as clouds, rain, snow, sleet, and ice crystals. Remember, fog is a cloud. The inertial separator affects engine parameters, particularly torque, NG, and ITT. Therefore, one must avoid distractions during the 40 second deployment time. Resist the urge. One byproduct of turning the inertial separator on, thus altering airflow, is reduced torque. Resist the urge to compensate for the power loss by simply restoring torque without observing the remaining ITT and NG margins. <laughs>